we can run over here. So most average sized towns have a Goodwill store and us uh, audio people traditionally have looked at thrift shops like this trying to find some, you know, stuff that people are discarding. And, and every now and then you find a, a treasure, a, you know, a, a deal, a, a steal. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to visit our local Goodwill. So for years I would hear stories about people finding amazing things at Goodwill for like pennies. And then I'm thinking, geez, how come that never happens to me? Every time I go there, it's just full of crap. Ah, oh, check it out. A speaker stand. But just one. One speaker stand is not very useful. Oh well. Oh, look what we got here. We got some speakers. Um, Lyric. Hmm. Never heard, of Never heard of them. Let me see. No, they're kind of junk. So I looked up Lyric and I found out they were made by Fisher. They're not very good, but uh, interesting to know. Oh, look. A Bose Wave radio. Not for sale. That figures. Oh, here's a brand I know. Uh, Sansui. Let me see. Oh, the grills are glued on. Oh, jeez. Let me see. I can feel a woofer there and mid-range there and I guess kind of a tweeter there. Hmm. Now there's the other one. Not very promising. Oh, boy. What a waste of time. I asked an employee what happens to uh, the good stuff that gets donated here. He said, oh, we pack that up and ship it off to Jacksonville where it gets put onto our online auction site. So, in my opinion, the days of finding anything halfway decent at this store are over. So, a few months ago, I discovered ShopGoodwill.com and really the big advantage for them is that they can sell stuff that they got for free for lots more money than they would selling them in their their you know brick and brick and mortar stores last week i was browsing the site and came across this listing from seattle washington a shit audio magni 2 headphone preamp and modi 2 dac the photos were good and they looked complete upon closer inspection i also noticed that they were the upgraded uber versions the listing stated though that they were untested therefore sold for parts or repair now, I've been reading lots of good reviews and watching some good uh, videos about shit electronics. And obviously, with a name like shit, they're a bit irreverent and a bit different than the usual hi-fi manufacturer. Uh, they like to make puns and seem to delight in getting people to say shit in polite company. They make a wide range of audiophile quality electronics at a very reasonable price. These two items retailed for about $149 each and that little cable they sold for 20. So I decided to bid $131 for the pair and left it to fate. Over recent months I've been quickly outbid so I wasn't at all confident that I would win. I checked it a few times over the next two days and and then to my delight, I received a notification that I was awarded the winning bid. And with tax, shipping, and handling, I paid less than half price for the two shits. You can still get some good deals on the Goodwill, um, Shop Goodwill website. Although the consensus is that the prices are much higher than they used to be because it's becoming more popular. But um, I still suggest if you're looking for a deal, look on there and see what happens. All right, looks like something delivered. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm about to do my first ever YouTube unboxing video. So here's the package I got from Goodwill. Just arrived. I'm gonna, looks like it's a simple box. I'm gonna cut it open. All right, and what do we got? 
We got a lot of bubble wrap. So Goodwill is has a reputation sometimes of not packing their uh, their shipments well and things arriving broken. So, but I mean this is a pretty simple packing job. So let's take a look at it. We've got a plastic bag. Doesn't even look like a new plastic bag, and it's got all the items inside. It's like the I think it's poking out the hole there. So let's pull it out. All right. This is the um, shit. This is the Magni 2 Uber. This is the uh, preamp headphone amplifier. And this must be the DAC. The uh, Modi 2 Uber. And they look pretty good. You can see a little scratch there, but overall they look like they're in good condition. And then we got, we got, uh, oh, we got a little uh, interconnects. That were in the picture. I believe these are the ones made by uh, by them, or somebody that they sell on their website. And this is what they call the wall warts. Now, <clears throat> what I understand, one they're very specific for each unit, so I have to match up the voltages to the uh, voltages on the back, so I don't plug in the wrong wall wart into. Oh look, somebody wrote on them, Magni. And Modi, so all right, so that that'll make it easier. Anyway, looks good so far. Now I'm going to hook it up and see how it sounds. Okay, so this is my home office listening room. I have a rather unconventional setup here. It's not your typical hi-fi setup because it doubles as a computer desk and um, and hi-fi listening room. I stream music from Tidal on my 2018 Mac Mini. I'm a Macintosh person and I store a lot of my stuff on that little portable Samsung drive. A while ago I bought some Meridian speakers which uh, I demonstrated in a previous video. I also bought some Meridian electronics to go with it. Now they're not plugged in right now but this is the uh, 561 preamp kind of digital processor and this is an unusual thing. This is a um, kind of like it's not a DAC, but it's a um, it kind of shapes your digital signal before it goes into your DAC. My main amplification right now is a Parasound six channel amplifier. I've also got this Acuras five channel amplifier, which I'm not currently using. It's kind of back up when this thing is is being serviced, which it has been recently. And I've got a a Panamax uh, surge protector deal. My main speakers right now are some Proac Response 2.5s. Now these are beauties. These are about 20 years old as well. And uh, these were very pricey when they were new, about $4,500. I got the uh, wall warts plugged into the um, surge protector. So let's see if they turn on. So let's, uh, there's one. Oh, they both light up. That's good. What I really um, like about this Magni is that it also, not only is it a headphone little amp, but it's also a preamp, a simple preamp. And if you only got one input, which this one um, uh, accommodates one input, it's pretty much a, does the job of a you know much more expensive preamp i think and all you need is a volume knob and that's what this is So what did I learn? I learned that these little shits sound amazing. The space between the instrument, the sizzle, the bass, the everything was better. The dynamics were better. The sound was exciting. I learned that I'm, I was absolutely stunned by how much better this more modern DAC sounded than the old Meridian. And I used to think the Meridian was fine. I mean, 
Sounded fine to me. I really didn't have anything to compare it to, though. And now that I do, the shit is going to be there for a while. I learned that this shit is real and that it's got me exploring my music library again and listening to my favorite tracks to see how much better they sound. And I'm planning to look into finding some more shit to buy. 